Hello guys, we're back again with another video here from Sempex. <laughs> Obviously starting off saying he doesn't like playing Protoss. But anyway, Sempex again playing as the Red Protoss in the top right hand corner against... Who's this? Xerox in the bottom left hand corner as the Blue Protoss. And as you can see, he's already sending out one scout. Not that it got very far from his base, but there you go. As you can see, the basic opener there from Sempex, just mining away. Chrono boosting out, another probe. As you can see, the probe from Xerox coming in to scout his base and trying to do a little bit of harassment on his mineral line. Just trying to stop Sempex from mining away. Seems to be doing a fairly good job. Now he's just trying to micro away so he doesn't lose the drone. <laughs> Running around in circles is always a good plan. But as you can see, Sempex is still doing fairly well, putting down two gates and a gas. So, slow start on building the probes, but has decided to opt for two gates and gas. And as you can see, Sempex has followed that drone all the way back and has now got a drone into Xerox's base. At this point, he doesn't actually know that it's there. Xerox has no idea that that drone followed him all the way back and is in his base. As you can see, he tried to scout, it didn't quite move far enough over. If he had it done, he would have seen the scout. But as it's happened, they have both gone for two gates and a gas. So, Sempex now has both his gates up, building a forge and a cybernetics core. Still has one gas up, but is doing fully mined, and now has put up a second gas. Nothing going on from this drone at the moment. Cybernetics core has gone up for Xerox. No forge from him at the moment, though he is building more pylons. Doesn't want to cap himself just yet, which he has done. Sempex not capped just yet, putting up a photon cannon at the side and at the back. Has four zealots, both equal on zealot count, though Sempex is far, far ahead on the probe count. Not researching anything from the forge, though he is now chrono boosting out the warp gate research. That should help him quite a bit with this if he can make something of it. I would expect to see a proxy pylon go up there and then warping in mass amounts of zealots, which is something he could do very easily with two warp gates. Make that three, four, five warp gates. Make that five warp gates running off two gas and a lot of minerals. He's actually playing a very good game, and you can see Xerox Arise tried to attack early, but just no match for the four zealots plus the three photon cannons. Now he's down to two zealots and Sempex is on one. Now he's up to five, now he's up to six. Using the warp gates to good effect there, has warped in on the pylon in the enemy base, warps in five more zealots. We could see an end of game right here. It runs in with all five zealots, tries to take out his mineral line, decides to skip that completely, goes straight for the nexus. Xerox not doing anything, has warped in a lot of stalkers, but there goes his nexus. Stalkers not doing an awful lot at this point, trying to surround the stalkers. Stalkers doing a fair bit of damage to those zealots, but those zealots will take down those stalkers eventually. And there you go, tries to put up another nexus. Xerox has next to no units left, just has probes as Sempex keeps warping in more and more zealots, and that's the end of the game. So, another good game there by Sempex. A nice wall off there. Good economy. Good research. Though he did only stick to zealots, which can be good, can be bad. But he did fairly well. Ended the game quickly. Job done. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. See you again next time.